The Pambula Beach Garage Band was begun by Pete Reed in 2005. It's a place where musicians come to create original music and record it for the group's website. Penny and I followed my family to Marimbula from Canberra, um, thinking that the family was going to come together around here with mums and dads and aunties and so on and so on. Uh, and we bought this house, built this house, uh, with this shed on it and my cousin David who was the first in Marimbula of the family was a uh, wannabe bass guitarist and so I had come away from Canberra with where I played a lot of music to being here where I didn't have any music to play and I said to David just come over on a Sunday afternoon and we'll have a couple of beers and bring your bass guitar and we'll see what happens and that was the beginning of it. He then brought his friend Warren Sito, the local chemist, who was a would-be guitarist. And the three of us just started on Sunday afternoons playing essentially very simple blues numbers. And then uh, different people started to take an interest and it just grew. <laughs> So when I first came to the shed, um, I was just sitting in the background with my acoustic guitar and learning what the shed was all about um, and how to play with a band and if I could actually um, join in. And yeah, I was very welcome uh, just doing little bits of song here and there until I became accomplished enough to actually um, join in and play. So when the bassist left, um, Pete wanted to know if there was anybody interested in taking over. And because my son at that time had given me a bass, I did. And everybody helped me out, uh, included me, and um, yeah, I fitted in quite well. To, um, this area from Melbourne, uh, I was really keen to find some people I could play music with and uh, one day someone, uh, Neil Porter in fact, invited me and said why don't you come along to the shed? And it's just great because you play with like-minded people who want to have a good time, play some good music, uh, record it and um, I've learned a lot as a result and I think we all, we all sort of feed off each other and the good thing about it to me is it's all got to be we don't play covers, which is unusual, but it forces you to be a little bit more creative. Um, it forces you to think about writing music, about writing lyrics, um, and just to come up with new ideas. So it's, I think it's, you know, it's a good creative group and uh, it's a lot of fun. Which I can do three. Yes. Thank you. 
break from music for quite a while and after playing uh, back in the early 70s, late 60s um, and moving down here for work which I did for 30 years without playing a guitar properly for 30 years and, um, and then as I was nearing retirement, oh, no before retirement I started uh, uh, recording my own music and, uh, and collaborating with people from all over the place, all over the world and uh, that was good and then I found this because uh, Pete I think rang me and asked whether I was interested in coming and playing and I joined the Motley crew and, uh, and that was in apparently in 2008 and uh, so there's been a lot of water under the bridge since then. Um, I play in the shed, I play bass and guitar, I'm mainly a bass player but I, I fill in on guitar and occasionally uh, but not for a while, I've done vocals and occasionally I'll do some keyboard stuff uh, when I'm producing things, which is my main role in a lot of ways in the shed is that I produce stuff. So I'm behind nearly all of the, the songs that are on, the, on the, um, the blog. So I think that's probably 200 songs at the moment that we're up to. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it is, uh, that's what I do. It's an outlet to, to play with other people. I do a lot of playing but I, a lot of it's not with people in the same room. They're usually on the end of, a, of an internet connection and just, it's good to see actual people instead of um, putting headphones on and hearing them. Well, after uh, years of doing gigs, I was tired of doing gigs. I'd done enough of that. Didn't like the two o'clock in the morning stuff, and um, I still wanted to play music. Um, and thought, well, if I could play music at home and people um, came to contribute, that would be great. What's been really um, wonderful about it is that we've had over a hundred musicians through here over the years, and many of them have been starters and have um, come to love playing music, develop their skills. Many others that have been in here have been great mentors and, and helped people get their music together. So. A lot of people felt a big sense of achievement, and so do I, because some of our productions I'm very proud of. Um, so still playing music, despite uh, not wanting to go out and do the gigs.